Alessia. We were so close, Anderson. So damn close to ending this war. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? I knew going in there wouldn't be a minute of this war that was easy. But watching Thessia fall, and knowing it was my responsibility. Which is why you took the war to Cerberus. We still don't have the catalyst. Shepard, you know how many times I got my ass handed to me over the years? Surviving the first contact war back in the day was a goddamn miracle. They said I was a hero. I just felt lucky to get out alive. So maybe Kai Lang did beat you. What of it? It could cost us the war. These guys in the Resistance, they know it's a losing proposition. They know the chances of seeing tomorrow are slim to none. But we all signed up anyway. Hell, I'm sitting in London right now staring at rubble. I was born here. And it's looking like I might die here too. So I say point us at the Reapers and we'll take our chances. You'll make it, Anderson. And when this is all over, you can show me London. <laughs> it might need a new coat of paint first. This will be over soon. It better. Not a lot of time left, Shepard. Find that catalyst. I will. Anderson out. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions, but what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. 
Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, then there. I appreciate the offer. But Counselor Valorn has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need, or they stop us from getting it. Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. 
But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single Cerberus ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. It might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. I know it hurts. Not being able to go with her. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. Hey, Shepard. Keep her safe. Same to you. Stop them. I need an active console. Try the upper level. Edie, I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Overriding safeties. The fighter should now launch to the hangar door. Perfect. Let's get down there. Launching fighter. Kiva! The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. Edie, can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. And if I hadn't brought you along? Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sub-level to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. 
It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. Kila, are you all right? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me, or maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. Well, I don't know. I... You are real. Real and mine. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, you realize that Shepard is a veteran of a coup's. A Cerberus operation wiped out his entire squad. Shepard's a soldier. He knows the Reapers are the real threat. He'll work with us. He was right. You did. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help. So I played along. I was there with you, Shepard. And I'm here now. Shutting Cerberus down. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. He needs to die. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel... I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reaper Tag, well... That's what the shackles are for. The enhanced defense intelligence will be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. Guess we didn't exactly get off on the right foot. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with organics has become more cooperative. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles, well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice? What about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. 
This time, we'll ensure it stays loyal. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven Zeta Bites? Most of it was Jeff's. That was... A joke. I know. And thank you. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is commendable, but the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. Shepard betrayed you. Shepard was always going to stay true to his beliefs. He's wrong, but I can respect his decision. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Udina is amenable. Yes, sir. Is that the Proto Reaper from the Collector base? What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. All those civilians, families, turned into that. And Cerberus has it on display. The elusive man convinced me to work with him to save the colonies. But he never really cared, did he? I don't regret standing with you when you were with Cerberus, Shepard. But I'm glad we're shutting this down. So am I. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. Grayson's brain is a mess. He must have been completely under Reaper control by the end. And the physical enhancements? Extremely impressive, if we could avoid having entire neural pathways rewritten in the process. Grayson's failure was due to a lack of resolve. He wasn't loyal to anything but his next dose of red sand. You'd like to try it on loyal test subjects, sir? Find volunteers among our new recruits. The physical benefits are too useful to ignore. The performance upgrades are off the charts. Our troops can outfight any Alliance soldier. Roll it out. I want all troopers fitted with implants before the Reapers arrive. I'm still concerned about us losing control of our forces. Some of them are already hearing voices. When our work at Sanctuary pays off, the only voice they'll be hearing is ours. Sir, you wanted my opinion on this. It's too dangerous. No. We're close. Sanctuary was a success. We can control Reaper forces. Everything we've been fighting for, every sacrifice we've made, it's about to pay off. We can't lose you, sir. Humanity needs your mind, and they need it intact. I understand the danger, Janna. That's why I'm trusting you with this. As long as you're here, I know you'll keep me in line. I'm holding you to that, sir. Okay. Begin the procedure. No anesthetic. Computer, 
End recording. This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. We need to locate the Prothean VI. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst? Yes. What is the Catalyst? And how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. When did you start? You think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. If you're willing to do everything it takes, then hand over the Catalyst. With the Crucible, we can end this. It's not that simple. It is. It's that simple. We're fighting each other while the Reapers occupy Earth. It's time to stop. Your idealism is admirable, Shepard. But in the end, our goals are simply too disparate. I believe destroying the Reapers would be the worst mistake we could ever make. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. Even with Cerberus in ruins, you still think you can do this your way? I'd expect you to say that. You never truly believed in us. Cerberus isn't just an organization, or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie, I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you, working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body. But instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online, security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat, but don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes, I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The Catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The Catalyst is the Citadel. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers? That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when. The Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them. Precisely. Why couldn't you tell me this before? It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. 
The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper control space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as so. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me hat. He needs... Not so fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. That was profane, you son of a bitch. The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investigating a means of conserving information for future species. Perhaps you will succeed where we fail. You didn't fail. You gave us a chance. And we're not done yet. 